who else sweats like me biko one just 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 take a look at me take a look eh? and this thing i don't just understand i think there is a particular soap that or some soap that each time i use them i no matter even if i take my bath 10 times i will still be sweating i've been using a particular soap and um the lotion, but before you know it, everything just skyrockets the price. Now, I'm going to go to work because my dear, good, 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 before getting a good, 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 just take a look at me. Take a look at me. I've not taken my bath, but if I just take my bath too, if you have watched most of my videos, you will see how I keep sweating. Mopi my ah. Oh, chuku. decided to bring light. I can't even remember when last we had this light, as in decent light, in the last, is it two weeks or three weeks? Am I even saying it? Last month, last few months, actually, with their high height of tariff, as in 12,000, 15,000. How's it going to end? Or did you know who Mana, a jumps or chichao, e poo, a chewy shiga, cho, chewy shigi. When you get cooking, I listen because you can't speak. When you speak, who will even speak for you? They will look for you and silence you. I don't know this um, high tariff of PHC and NEPA power giving light, whatever, whatever they call themselves. I don't know what they call themselves. I say, I don't know if. If it is like that in every other part of the country, or is it just here in our final state? No. Let me quickly go and rush and use the light to do to cover vlog uh, if they will leave it. You can't trust them. They are not to be trusted. Oh. <laughs> A parent who went for parent teachers meeting. <laughs> it was um, one of these uh, party, end of term party, end of December. I can't really remember. And this woman stood up with all alacrity and said, hey, How can I pay 3500 and only for my child to return with a plastic rubber that is not up to? 500 naira and they gave her rice no rice they just gave mineral that she have decided that nothing will ever make her to pay any other money for end of year parties now eh, come and see as in parents can just because of but i mean i don't even know where school owners came up you know, came with that uh, trend. But it's also okay. But I feel that the price is just so much. You pay school fees. You pay lesson fee. You pay sport fee. There are some schools, they collect all of these things. Then, end of term, Christmas, like this, they will ask you to pay. Some schools will say 5,000, some 10,000, some 3, 5. That's for schools that are just coming up. And only for your child to come back home with, you know, a lot of parents expect very mighty, mighty gift when they pay some huge amount of money. And not for a parent to a child to come back home with plastic bucket that is not even up to 200 naira. Because most times schools go to the places where they sell all these things in bulk and buy them. And I totally see reasons with parents, mothers especially, because you know fathers doesn't even have time for all of these things. Oh why? <laughs> Oh, why? They are the ones that are carrying this thing on their head. I mean, it's painful. Times are hard. 
sometimes they will not even give them food because the school too want to make they want to make you know profit and all of that so i want to ask you how much did you pay for school party this time or how, how how much have you been paying and what have your children been coming home do you think you can continue talking about school parties let's even go to church when we do offering tithe pastors will preach and say if you don't pay your tithe it will be tight for you it will do this and i used to ask them what about those unbelievers that doesn't go to church and yet they are flourishing who do they pay tithe to why are things not tight tight for them Please preach the main gospel, which is Jesus Christ, and forget about the ways to look for money to collect from members, and you begin to threaten them. So, I ask, all these pastors that collect offering and tithes, what do you do for your members at the end of the year like this, or quarterly, or annually, monthly, whatever? See, during this COVID-19, some church, some churches I learned that they, they give some things to their members. No matter how little it is, me, I kept saying it, I appreciate gifts so much, no matter how sim simple or tiny it is. What I actually look at is the heart with which that person decides to give that thing to me, honestly speaking. So you don't come and collect tithes and offering and at the end of the year like this what do you give to your members to encourage them uh -huh, if we should be putting it like that now as if we say most of these pastors don't even have anything to uh, do it it is we the members that go out to work and come to give offering and tithes so you depend on them what do you do to appreciate them yes back in the days and even up to now i'm sure some, some people are still doing it some companies they do this thing give away gifts maybe during christmas during easter they give to their customers. Thanks for your patronage. Thank you for patronizing us. When you receive that small gift, honestly speaking, it will be difficult for you to go check out another place. As in, these people always encourage you. Or some people, they will even diversify, knowing that they will have to collect a lot of gifts from so many people that they patronize from time to time, from place to place. These are ways of encouragement, and I think that's what the school is doing. What is the church doing? Individuals also do it. I mean, a lot of us, a lot of persons have so much burden on them, and they do these things that the people they do it to totally appreciate. What is it that you are doing as a pastor? You just sit down. I think we should be thinking towards this side. I mean, times are hard. People are struggling to survive, and only what you do is just to climb the altar and begin to rain curses and all of that. Is that how God rain curses on us? God doesn't curse. He will never even curse. It is not the tithe and offering that is keeping us. We didn't give him anything before he came to save us. It was just out of love. So concentrate on the main subject, which is what? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the center of the gospel. People will give you whatever they want to give to you out of their free will. Stop cajoling them. Stop making it look as if they have not given. They, will, they are useless. What about people that don't give? What about? So, that's what I say. Let me come here and gossip. I want to appreciate my subscribers. Yes, you guys are so good. There are another set of people that I don't like forgetting about. Though. They are my viewers. These people come in to view videos on this particular channel, but you have not thought it wise to subscribe. Why? Am I evil? Am I bad? Am I not likable? Please encourage me hmm? so that I can be swaggering. I'm looking up to you to come into this channel. I'm expecting you. So please engage me in the comment section. How much did you pay? for your wed party did you do any party in your school in your church in your neighborhood this year that year whatever let me just know so from me to you is merry christmas the vlogmas theme continues see you in my next video